Hello, welcome to Gavis Drams. So, how do we follow up the last video, the Spring Bank 30? What do we do to follow that up? How can we beat that? What's at that price, at that quality? So, we're going to go in the completely opposite direction. We're going to go for a bottle kill tonight. And it's Hazel Burn, that we can see it or not. Ten year old. And it's last year's. Yes. May 22. £39. Now that's what you call value for money. The collectors are not jumping on this for some reason. I enjoy my hazel bomb. Probably I've drunk this in a year, which is quite quick for me. This is one of my go-to whiskies. A lovely night to the night. I'm just going to finish this tonight. A bottle of I've got two glasses. And I might just have one. To there. And there's a wee bit left in it. And I'll have that later on tonight. So we'll still class it as a bottle kill. And we'll leave it there. Right. You can see it there. That's fine. Hazel burn. 46%, triple distill, non-peated. £39, why do people see this on the shelf and look past it? I'll never know. It's a spring bank. It's triple distill. 100% bourbon. Where are you going to get something like this for? Under £40. You just know. So... We'll look at the legs on it. No bead because it's less than 50%. We'll give it a nice turn. And the beads are just hanging. And they're slowly, slowly coming down. No too thin. No, they're moving quickly, actually. They're, they're actually moving quite quick. Yeah. Reasonable size. And then the ones at the top are still hanging, but there's some there started to move quite fast. Okay. On the nose. Lemon. Shell bits. Everything above them should be everything. Non peated. Pineapple, lemon, a little bit of nose burn, just a little bit, not a lot, just a, a little bit of tickle there on the nose. We'll get a wee sugar, bring it back up. Very fresh, very light, very lemony. Wet grass. Let's try on the palette. What's the mouth nice? No thick. Obviously it's triple distilled, so it's not going to be thick. It coats the mouth. Gently coats the mouth. A little bit spirity, I would say. At the end of this one, just a little bit. It's not a kicker, but it's just a little bit. It's a little bit of spirit there, but it is 10 years of age, so you're going to get that bit of spirit. But the influence in the cask is definitely working. Quite creamy in the palate. What about fudge? Yeah. Um, creamy, fudgy. For thirty nine pounds. 
they're just starting to change now. A lot of bartman's creeping in. Just a tiny bit, and I love that in a whiskey. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but I like just a lot of butter. But I'm a wee hint of pepper just at the back end of that, which is really, really nice. Now, I know it's 46%, but I'm going to put a bit of water in it. I'm going to put a, just a fair bit of water in it to see if it changes it. Well, there's a fair bit in there. It could be too much, but let's just see what it does. It was in those a bit. It dampens it down a bit. It takes that little bit of nose prickle that was there completely away, so you're not getting that little nip in there. Which is nice. Not getting the same lemon as it was getting. So it, the, the water just damping the nose down a bit. But what I'm looking for the water to do here is really lift these flavours. And you can put too much water in a whiskey. But if you can get it right, even at 46%, you can just lift the flavours. Even though you kill the nose, you'll just get these flavours. So let's have a wee go to see if I'm right. Now that is perfect. Maybe a half a teaspoon, teaspoon in there. That nips away. That what wee bit of spirit is away. The lemon is creeping in and it's actually starting to get that little bit of bitterness as it comes through the back end. Now, I enjoy that in a bourbon. It's starting to also quite dry, but there's a lovely. I would say put water in this. Don't put too much in it or you'll, you'll definitely drown it. But just a teaspoonful, no more. You may lose the nose on it, but you certainly will enhance the flavour. The lemons will come out, they'll be a lot. Let me see if I can find anything else in this. Slightly fusty, very fruity, very lemons, limes. Did I say happily? No. With the right amount of water in it, it takes that little bit of harshness away. away from it. Know that it's a harsh whiskey, but I just felt there was a wee bit of spirit coming in for the, for the 10 year old. And the spirit was probably dominating the cask. I don't think so. With the water in it, it makes a difference. So that's a bottle kill. I'll finish this tonight. Friday night. No work in the morning. Um, I'll probably sit out in the garden for a couple of hours a night. Could get, let me see. Dram and a half. A dram and a half out of that. And I'll be greedy and put it in a big tumbler. Thanks for watching Gab's Drams. Thank you for all the th feedback on the 30-year-old. It was a pleasure to do it. I've drunk half, I've drunk nearly half the bottle. Uh, it's just it's so easy to drink, it really is. Uh, so I've still got a couple of samples to make up. What I was thinking of doing, as you can see, you've got these samples here. These are what I call bottle ends. And they're interesting bottles. When I finished them, I s saved them. And I was looking to see what I've got. And I've got three different years of Springbank 25s. So it'll be interesting whether I, whether I put them in colour glasses where we can't see them. And put the three of them together, head, head to head, the three whiskies. Or we put them in the glass and see them. But uh, it'll be interesting to see the, the three different years. I can't remember, I know I've got... a. 23 
I don't have a 22, I've never sampled that, a 21 and I think a 19, something like that. There's gaps between them. So that might be something interesting. Um, if you would like me to do that, I wouldn't do that. Still plenty open. Um, another one I was going to open. Still not sure about it, whether it be interesting people. If you want me to open this, I'll open it. If you don't, and the reason I'm saying it might not be interesting, you can't buy this. This was a gift when I was working in Iowa two years ago at the end of the, the week. Uh, my late wife came with me and she was bored at her skull uh, while I was working. And we managed to get a couple of days and we really looked after the people at Rukuladik. And they gave me this at the end of the week. And it's, doesn't he say much? It says Brooklyn the Laddie Valange, 500ml bottle, unpeated dialer, that's it. Drawn. It probably be worth money. It's got Jim McEwen's signature on it. He drew it for the cask. It doesn't say what kind of cask it was. If you look at it, it's obviously some sherry cask, it might be another Russell cask, it could be anything. Um, so I wouldn't sell it because it was a gift. And whether if you fancy me opening that, I'll open it. But it's up to you. I've got so much. But if I review it, it's not something you can then go and buy. So it would be just, it might be selfish to review this. I don't know. It will certainly be getting opened. At some point, but I don't know when. So, Hazel Burn, I've had a great journey with this whiskey. I've thoroughly enjoyed it. £39. You can't beat it. I mean, you, you just can't beat value for money at that, at 30 It's probably not in price. That was when £39 in May 202. Anyway, I'm rambling on a bit. Thanks for watching Gav's Drums, press the bell, press the sub button, make comment, contact with me, it's great to hear some views and I've got, I'm not, I can't go through all the names but I've got a certain following, there's certain guys watch me regular and they comment regularly and it really is really nice, so really thanks to these guys we're getting there we're nearly at the 600 so anyway thanks for watching gals drums good night cheers